カメラはここにしましょうこの角度はどうかしら<笑>どの角度の私も可愛いわねはーいみんなエリシアのメイク教室へようこそみんなはもともと可愛らしいって知ってるけどたまにおめかしするともっと可愛くなれるわよレースメイクができたわ次は眉毛を描くから気をつけましょう、うん、素敵ね次はアイシャドウねこうしてどうもっと綺麗になったかしらあら大変リップの色を間違えたわなかなか似合うわねやっぱり私は何でも似合っちゃう<笑>花のように美しい少女エリシアのメイクはこれで終わりよどうとても簡単でしょあらもう時間なの<笑>じゃあ最後にもう一度チェックしましょううんメイク OK 前髪 OK そして、笑顔もオーケーファイトエリシア今日も素敵な日にしましょうあ,あなんだか足りない気がするわねああそうだヒロインの登場はもちろんロマンチックな気分になってみないこのように。I'm sure everyone is looking forward to seeing Alicia as the her share of human ego. Absolutely! I'm so excited that I went and cleared every stage as soon as Chapter 31 was fully available. And let me tell you, it was a wild ride. It's like Alicia said the conclusion to the Flame Chaser story is going to be one amazing show. I'm not crying, you're crying. Yeah. The moths, Kevin, and all his friends have been with us this entire time. And their stories have been unforgettable. The end may be near, but the flame chasers really brought the previous era to life. It all feels like a vivid dream to me. We've made so many memories with these characters. Just thinking about them makes me tear up. Before the waterworks begin, why don't we look at what's coming up? Okay, try to keep calm, captains, as we enter version 6.0.
Oh, what's up? Why the tears? I just couldn't hold it in after watching that trailer. It really got me worked up. Alicia may have come into this world as a Hersher, but she's left behind hope for future generations and will be remembered forever by her human name. Without a doubt. She's a Hersher with a deep love for humanity. Her story has touched countless hearts. In her, we can see a beauty bordering on divine. In the world where the end is nigh, Alicia is a crystal flower without fault, passing on hope. The 13 Flame Chasers aren't just heroes, but everyday people too. Yes, they all had their own secrets, convictions, and struggles between good and evil, but they all ended up at the same place. This is the humanity that Alicia believed in. At the end of the story, when she asks if she's become human, I think the answer is clear. Humanity is the everlasting pursuit of all that's good and beautiful. Alicia embodies that perfectly. When reading her lines and listening to her voice, you can feel her heart pour through the screen. A heart filled with love and sincerity. Originally, I had no idea how Alicia's story would unfold. Speaking of, we invited a special guest. Wouldn't it be better to hear it from her directly? Huh? You don't mean... Have a listen, everyone! こんにちは。エリシア役のイノエマリナです。イニシエの楽園ではいろいろなことがありましたね。皆さんはエリシアと共に旅をしてみていかがでしたでしょうか。彼女に対してどう思いましたか？ちなみに私が初めてエリシア
She is so beautiful against the starry sky left behind by her ultimate. In addition to all that, the new weapon, Key of Ego, and its prior form, Domain of Ego, Flawless Return, will be released to match her grace. Oh, the weapon is decorated with crystals and hearts, Alicia's signature elements. They have a real romantic look and give full play to Alicia's style. I'll be sure to use them to shoot arrows of love and hope all around the world. And don't forget her new stigma set, Flower of Origin. Like the pristine L set before, this new set is also focused on bringing out the true Alicia. It's a perfect match. The stigma set is designed with the concept of 13 in 1 in mind. Alongside Alicia herself, the other 12 flame chasers are split into groups of four with three stigmata per group. Each of the three stigma pieces correspond to the origins of the ocean, land, and starlight sky. The details are amazing. Other flame chasers have also made an appearance. You can see Eden's chalice, Kalpus's mask, as well as a cat and a cute little fox. That's some amazing attention to detail. While we've already covered the new weapon and stigma sets, with the new version also comes Elf, Elf Alicia, who is just as smart and beautiful as our girl Ellie. She grants her team a nice ice damage boost, and her ultimate draws in enemies while reducing switching cooldown for team members on standby. While playing through the story stages, I really got into Elf Alicia's character. No way am I gonna miss this. And here's something else you'll like. Introducing the Timeless Grand Hall, a brand new look for the bridge based on scenes from the Elysian realm. It features dynamic special effects and alternate background music. Wow, the bridge matches Alicia perfectly. So how do I get it? All you'll need to do is play in the Feast Invitation event and complete certain missions. And that's all for the Hersher of Human. I'm super excited. What else can we expect from the new version? I'm dying to know. To start off, there's going to be interludes after each major story chapter, and this time we'll get to hear the story of Dr. May. The main story is going to be all about Project Stigma, and Dr. May will be taking the center stage. Also, it was hard to miss the duel between the two Kevins at the end of the trailer. All I can tell you for now is that neither one is a memory sim. You'll have to dive deeper and find out what's going on for yourself. There's a lot of changes coming to the main story, and I can't wait to see what will happen next. The Elysian Realm will also be receiving updates. The Hersher of Human, Ego, and the Hersher of the Void will join the battle in the realm. Wow! Our old pal Hersher of the Void is joining us in the new version. There will also be some changes coming to the Elysian Realm, namely with the Flame Chaser Trials. Captains will be able to obtain special items from daily Elysian Realm challenges, and these items can be used to speed up open exploration in the story. This is awesome for captains who want to advance through the story faster. Speaking of the Flame Chaser story, they've all recently checked in to the Golden Courtyard. Are they still trying to survive on that mysterious island? That's right. The Summer Events story isn't over yet. Part 2 is on its way. Summer Survival Rhapsody, Side 13. Wait, what? Wouldn't Side B follow after Side A? How do you get 13 from B? 13 is bad luck, isn't it? This isn't an unlucky omen, is it? The story already has enough tragedy. I'm running out of tears. Don't worry. The number 13 stands for the 13 Flame Chasers. It better be. The event includes three chapters. As the story progresses, captains will meet more Flame Chasers. And together, you'll take on enemies while you stick by your friends. Each Flame Chaser will have their own unique set of combat skills. On the prep screen, Captains can build a personalized team of flame chasers based on the stage and enemies they'll face. We also have some new terrain designs this time around. Choose the right flame chasers with the right skills to clear challenges with ease. Sounds great! So, what are the rewards? Will I finally get that summer outfit I've been hoping for? You bet! You'll win crystals, energy devices, Honkai shards, and more, as well as Shadow Knight's new summer outfit, Seagull Soar. Perfect! I've been looking forward to getting this swimsuit since the last event. I just gotta have it. Wait a sec. In the last event, we saw the Flame Chasers try on lots of different swimsuits. Are those gonna be available too? You got it. Lala Shop is open for business in this new version. There you can swap a special item which can be exchanged for Starry Impression Grissio's outfit, Summer as a painting, collector's cards, focus supply cards, and more. Wow, Grissio looks stunning in her lovely goss skirt with its ocean motif. With the new outfit, rather than birds in flight, fish will appear when Grissio casts her ultimate. 
You can just feel the waves roll on by and the sea breeze blowing against your face. What a fantastic design! Our young painter also painted dolphins and waves onto Mr. Knight's armor, making the cold and aloof Mr. Knight look a lot cuter. Along with the young painter Grissio, Vilvi's summer swimsuit I'm the Storm will also be available in the new version. It can be purchased with beach chips in the mall. The name speaks to its wild nature. Yes, the swimsuit boasts a flamboyant pirate style. That fits Vilvi's passion for performance perfectly. And there are new special effects too, right? The missiles are now water bombs, giving them a super cool and refreshing look. That's right. I hope captains love the new outfit. By the way, the invitation sharing feature has also been updated. During regular invitation events, when each invited captain completes specific missions, the captain who sent the invitation will receive 300 crystals. And for each round of the regular invitation event, the captains who send out invitations can receive up to 1,500 crystals. I'm really looking forward to seeing more and more captains join. And keep in mind, the captain sending the invitation can only get rewards when the invitee completes specific missions. Also, weekly sharing missions will be added to Battle Pass missions. Captains can complete these missions and earn more crystals by sharing once per week. Wow, this new version is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to play it. Well, that concludes today's program. Captains, be sure to beat the summer heat by joining in. See you next time. Bye-bye.